Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Pekin and Plays. How's it going with the Cold War mod? We are back, and we're doing some defenses in a few different wars. There's the Korean Civil War, the Korean War, and the Pakistan-Afghanistan War. We've been taking a lot of casualties, mostly from the defense, the attrition in the hills, Let's go! but Move it! also me! from the near constant attacks from the enemy. I could try to go off the line for a minute and try to take this province just for Badaskan, but it's not that important. Mostly, it's just defending them. Air superiority. Yeah, you're getting completely sh just schwicked away. Although, was that your commander? You looked positively American. As for you, you have five defense, five attack. You are an amazing general, sir. I would like to see your stats and whatnot. Uh, where are you? You are Harold Alexander, a level five general. One of the best we got. Just getting. Just getting better. Over here, very basic unit, not really worth my time. I'm keeping a couple of them, only if they're really, like, really stellar units, really large units. For the most part, they're not very good. I don't know why South Korea has decided that they want to be on the constant attack. Here, uh, Trust in America, that gives us even more civilian factories. We've been building a lot of those lately. Fair, free and fair economy. Uh, free trade grants us market resource to market 8%, blah, 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 and eight more civilian factories. Glorious day. We need to get ourselves nice and bulked up. I am now going to start building my first nuclear reactor, because we seem to be able to build one. That's pretty good. Uh, Gloucestershire. I haven't run into any problems with production. And uh, no, trade. Trade. I haven't run into any problems with electricity so far, so that's great. That'll keep us running for quite some time. Over here, the battle lines are pretty much stalled out. If we can figure out a single location we can attack and try to break them, that'd be lovely. Maybe the hills outside here try to get around these army, this army group. Two side attack, please. Wait for the reinforcements. Try to jump in. Yes, Jesus. Infantry division, but what kind? Very small. Throw that one back. That's not a honker. Gotta throw that one back. As for you, a bridge attack, low terrain, river crossing, but we can pierce and we defend pretty well. It's because we're attacking their light divisions. You, new division. Yeah, that's a throwback. It's a throwback kind of guy. And, ooh. With both sides in on it, looks like you're going a little bit better with the help of the Afghanis instead of their def Enemy retreat. They're not that bad. But you hold back, you need to be able to defend Kabul at any given time. You, with your troops, maybe an attack there to try and uh, strengthen our position away from Kabul, if at all possible. A nice attack all the way through to Islamabad would be lovely, but it's not realistic. Not something we're probably going to be able to do. On the Korean front. That doesn't look like we're doing all that much. Although, what's this attack? It's a failed attack. Good to know. Yeah, you just kind of get out of those immediately. Finally starting to get involved in some fights, though. That's great. You see what you can do. Ooh, a positive attack. Not too shabby. Over here. The attack's turning against us, but we only attack from one direction. If we attack from multiple directions at once, we might have a better odds. We still have air superiority. They're just fighting with rather basic cavalry. Hey, what's this? Korean defenders. One of our defenses is failing. Ah, they finally decided to go on the offensive. That's not good at all. Hmm... Attack that mortar now, please. Defend, 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 defend. Hmm, as for over here, the fence is still holding, and this attack, which has been going on for a while, eh, it's not really going that well. Sometimes the Afghans decide to help us, sometimes not. It's hard to say. We haven't having a problem with that. Hmm. Going for export focus. Maybe early or partial. Early, partial, early, construction speed down. Consumer goods, honestly, there's pretty much all just good things, but 
One of the 50% world tension. Yeah, partial mobilization. We're getting ready for a potential world war here. We gotta get ready. We gotta, we gotta get ready, especially because we actually are need to get ready for the Suez Crisis. As we need to win that, please. And that means we need to fight third wave of Chinese troops in Korea. As an answer to the reef from South Korean advancement into the north, the People's Republic of China sent a third wave of volunteers. Third wave of volunteers from the U.S. Man, that's, this is about as proxy of a war as you can get. At this point, it's just a U.S.-Chinese war. Oh, it's still... Oh! Oh, it's still using the Spitfires, but that's because I think we actually sent Spitfires over. You... Not that good. That's a throwback. Now you have four tank divisions. Freetown, do something else with your life. <sighs> As for over here, we're gonna keep trying. Oh, we stopped for some reason. Join in from this side. Wait for this guy to get a little bit more in. You. Go, go. Efficient air freight. Things we can do. Rocketry, no. Engineering, 1950s. Yes, research time. Two, d one day until that. Nice. Air doctrine, 1952. It's 51 at the moment. Looking around. 1955, 1951 for an anti-tank gun. Works for me. We got explosives here. Gonna get a better explosives in a second. Explosives, nice. You, join in. Aha! But now you need to hold on to Kabul. You need to move, be the one to move in. And then... That's not... Uh, the L1... A1 is not for a while. Got a lot of guns we can use. Those are not for a while. Team weapons. Specialist weapons. Let's go for anti-tank weapons. Unassigned divisions. You're not going to be good. You're mechanized cavalry in it. Yeah. And with... Infantry, you just slow yourselves down. You just slow yourselves down, buddy. You, hold back, hold back, hold back. Select all, we're all on this mission. But don't. Focus on Kabul. It's the place we need to defend. Then we have a national focus. North Sea Oil National Development for two more civilian factories. Yorkshire. I want to go down to this expand the funding national development to Gives us more civilian factories more infrastructure. Let's go down national development for even more civilian factories I don't necessarily like the idea of attacking from multiple directions at once go for a careful battle plan, please So that you're not so um, spread out That cavalry's going all over the place But together we can hold you, you're, you're not focusing in. You're not focused enough. You need to, f you need to stay focused. Even if we did push forward, we wouldn't exactly have enough ability to actually sustain ourselves. So unless the battle plan was to take back our way through to Herat, and that bulk would give them a good portion of men. Not too much, but a good portion. Maybe... Roger, go on. Instead of doing that, instead of doing a rare, like something like that, we just push and take all of Nagarar. Right there, please. Go when ready. I don't want to... Oh, good. Attack from this side. You! That does not help. That really does not help us in any way, other than... And now you're even getting them stuck in on it. Stop it. That's my question. Why is it that the AI in the game, you give it a very specific direction to go in, and they decide to attack in a completely opposite direction? I don't understand the AI sometimes. Like, to the point where I prefer them to just not have that in the plan, and to just hold this area as a defensive mechan- as a defensive area. Uh, let's see. Fallback line between these two, specifically. And then you help out in that attack to really get this back in, because it's currently controlled mostly by Pakistan. There's no, nothing big there to hold on to. It's currently being held by Pakistan. A bad attack in Panjaman, which is pushing us out to Seoul. 
Don't like that's kind of leaving us open to the f a an attack in the rear. I prefer not to be surrounded, but it's very difficult to see exactly what these lines are. With these troops, a lot of us have fallen back. I just don't want to be cut off at any time. You're on the defensive, you're on the offensive over on that side. Over here. Taking a pretty long way around. I don't know if they're going to take right there, but I don't want to know either. Take this direction. Just, you know, help out them by giving them some more manpower so they can use it to make more troops. Bing, bada, boom. Push them out. Unfortunately, because of the way the game works, one side has to... A Baluchistani insurgency. What? Hmm. Going for the army effort. And then you still are over there. Oh, insufficient resources on oil. We can currently get it from the Cutter Protectorate. There we go. That'll help. We can go for North Sea Oil, but it's not delicious enough. Again, you. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. Stop it. Stop attacking. It's not worth it. You do an attack that way, might as well help. Although you are leaving a rather big hole in our lines. Okay. Just gonna make some moans at us. Some moans. Ooh, I, I don't even know these lines. I do appreciate the fact that they added in the DMC lines to make the lines better after a two, a two Korea solution split. But it's kinda silly. It's kinda silly. You push. Stop it. Stop it. Stop being a failure. Unassigned divisions. You guys just really want to be here, don't you? Sure, join up. I don't know why you want to be here so badly. This marine division, you don't deserve to be here. Just go and join the Suez area. Leave Cyprus to itself. Any decisions available that are worth doing? Not really. Promise of peace, which is a complete lie. We don't promise peace at all. We promise war. As for you, we stopped giving you equipment, and you do have three military factories now. Hmm. Should be able to make something with that. Defenses over here are going fine. Attacks, not so much. They're pushing through the DMC lines. Oh, they're pushing through whatever that thing is called. We're holding there. I don't know why you're trying to attack this way. <laughs> what is the situation down here like? Win ratio is still pretty high because we're mostly taking defenses. In combat, we've cost them so much more than we've lost. But that's not technically all because of us. That's with the combined effort. This is just our own troops. As for here, yeah, they've lost so much more than we can. Luch standing insurgency. Still have a million manpower, so losing troops is not really a problem for you. Over here, we got the new Centurion. We can go for high tech. We can go for the Hummer Pig. We can go for the Mech Marine. And I think I'm going to spend some time in this and just research them all out. Because I was 1950 or 1951, I forget which one exactly. Again, small divisions. Not worth it. Not worth the time. I don't care. I don't care if they're ready to fight. I don't care if they're ready to sleep. Don't care at all. Oh no, he's just gonna keep saying that. He's gonna keep telling me the lands that they're ready to fight. <laughs> yeah, you need more troops, but you also need more arms. What's our production like? Eh, we got a lot of scorpions, I suppose. Not, not a lot of infantry equipment. Armored vehicles, we got the Centurion. There we go, Centurion. M main battle tank 1, Centurion Mark Three, which doesn't get its own symbol. A strange development, but a development nonetheless. It's through this valley, please. We'll break them out of there eventually. Still gonna hold on to Kabul, though. As for here... Yeah, less than a day. We should be able to push through pretty easily. 
Oh, and you are weak. I'll attack there as well. Attack from both sides. Push him out. As the lads say. Roger, go on. Hmm. You specifically. Get redacted like that. Expand this line. Join it. Join it. Move in, move in. Keep those doggies moving, ride. National Development 1, National Development 2. Going fast on those, I'm enjoying it. If we just keep pushing through here, we'll be able to take bulk for them. They have seven unlock slots, but it's not like they use them. Decision is still available. Korean defense seems to be holding fine well, in my absence. Keep on uh, moving, moving. You guys move along. We might just win this war for Afghanistan yet. Let's see, are you able to move fast now that you're out of there? 2.5 miles an hour. At least it's faster. What kind of terrain is it? It's desert, that's why. Pushing out into Baghdis. Keep firing, mates. Attack this way. Help it out, help it out. Join in. Undesigned divisions. Not worth my time. Get rid of these regimental shit. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. We can modify the government again. We got free trade, volunteer only. Honestly, we're doing fine with it. Send volunteers, balanced media, political advisors. Backroom backstabber for ideological drift defense. That could actually hurt me, because we're kind of going heavy for monarchism. Quartermaster general is for construction speed. Conservative reformer, war industrialist. Material designer for infantry equipment. Oh, there's two infantry equipments, and neither of them really matter. A theorist. But we already have 100 army experience. We can use it any time. Amphibious assault. Logistics kind of helps. Just in logistics for army, we're just less attrition. We're taking, we've been taking a lot of attrition out here, out here in the sands. Let's Although now we have a little bit more, so we lost a lot of Nagahar. Yeah, hold still. That's fine. You uh, help out there, I guess. They'll be the ones to push in through here, trying to take our way over to Herat, but that might not actually help. Because one of the problems is that they have more troops, they have more movement maneuverability. No, don't say that. You can probably just join up with the Africa Force. You're decent enough. A brigade of mountaineers, I suppose. No, no artillery though. You what are you up to? Not worth my time. Not worth my time, one so ever. Looking around the world, what's new? What's new? Spanish state, got ourselves. Going on speed force, things should be happening. You're new, Rene Plevin, the Plevin plan. House of Solomons, losing to conservatism. Territory of Somaliland. Uh, Australia, you're still under me. Still that land down under me. Tell us what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want a, uh, I want a, uh, I want a, uh, I want a, uh, I really, really, really want a zigga zig a. Uh. Yeah, not really worth the attack there or there. See, this is the kind of war where you wish that white peace would be an option. Because, I mean, imagine being a Pakistani soldier and this, losing 200,000 manpower and this, just for it, just for you to start losing all the land you've taken. And for them to actually be getting stronger as they push. New divisions, probably not gonna be worth my time. It was not, I should go and back to the action. What's going on up here? Mostly just holding still. Not a whole lot's happened. Anti-tank gun, meet anti-tank gun. Uh, that's not good. Oh, you, because you were on an offense. I see. You can attack this way. You can attack that way if they're doing it already. We're not going to have the effects of Donald Smith. What was the effects of Donald Smith? Because I completely forget about it. You go away. 
1950s, 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 infantry. We have specialist weapons, which is just defense for all infantry. Not bad. Assign division. Why are you guys making divisions if you're not gonna, you know, use them? No, that's the, that's the China force. Send them back. Send the ball back for the Africa Corps. Jesus Christ, what do you want now? Africa Corps. Might as well just cover all of Botswana, Rhodesia, Malwa, uh, Kenya. No, that's Kenya. This is Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Sudan, Sugandese. Might as well focus just down on two capitals. More. Go away. Interesting. Treaty of San Francisco. Treaty of San Francisco is just making Japan into its own power. Success of the UN Charter. And then Baluchistan exists now. And they are nationalist. I'm not really a fan of them. They have no troops whatsoever. Probably not going to survive long. They have zero military factories. And you are just there, but you have all your troops on my lines, so good luck with that. Back over to here. It's just touch and go. Is there anything in here about... Eh, let them count. I don't think there's anything in here that has to do with... Eh, farewell, farewell to, to Harold Alexander, farewell to our veterans, doctrines, praise the Lord! Of course we're going to have to go praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Oh, is that military factories, you say? Hmm. And we'll... <laughs> Defend the Falklands. Royal Army. Interesting. The episode's going long, but this is still interesting to see. Cold War might give us some focus, but nothing, nothing new. I want to go that, so I need to go infrastructure effort one. So the state of Baluchistan is not going to last long. Just because, yeah, it's just not going to last long. You could move in, but at the same time, you don't have enough troops to back that up. You should really seize this opportunity and attack in every location to keep them away. I could send you support. Where even is your capital? You don't seem to have one. I could try to send you volunteers. I could send two at most. But they would likely die. It would just be me fighting for you. You barely even have any manpower. You have no military factories. You have nothing of use. That's just a military coup in Balochistan. Pakistan, you embarrass me. I think you were once part of the great empire. With that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye!